Broadcasting from Cincinnati, you're listening to the Ringside Reporter Podcast. All the news in the world of boxing right here. Well, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk to you. Now, here's your host, Eric Lorda. And we are live. Welcome to the Ringside Reporter Podcast on a Monday. So why are we here today? Well, we got some pretty big news last night, and it was uh, it was funny, uh, Beeb, because I just got off. I just got off the uh, show last night, and I want to say it was about 11 o'clock, about maybe 10, 30, 11 o'clock when the news started coming in. You know, I started getting texts, and I started getting, you know, just definitely news work, news was coming in. Uh, that Floyd Mayweather is going to fight in Japan on December 31st against Tenshin Nasukawa. Do you even know who that guy is? I, I did not know who the guy was. I, I got to be honest, I have no idea who he was. You know? Um, but apparently he's a Japanese kick. Here's what I know about him. He's a Japanese kickboxer. Yeah. Uh, he's a 20-year-old uh, from Tokyo, Japan. Has a record of 27-0 with 20 knockouts in kickboxing. He's 4-0 in MMA. By the way, he fights around 120 pounds. Floyd fights at what, 147, 154, right in there? That's correct. So the guy is right around a bantam weight, somewhere in there. So he, and I saw some video of this kid, and they, they call him a prodigy. I mean, he's very good. I mean, he's a very good fighter. Uh, as far as kickboxing goes and everything like that, I mean, he's a very good fighter. He's undefeated, isn't he? Undefeated. Undefeated fighter, uh, very good, but I just don't, uh, you know, they held a press conference in Japan last night, and again, nobody, you know, if you don't pay attention to kickboxing, you don't know who he is. If you pay attention to kickboxing, you probably know who the guy is. I don't pay attention to kickboxing, so I don't know. Um, so, you know, so I'm looking at this guy, and I'm watching videos of him, and he's a killer, man. He's not somebody to mess around with. If you're going to be kickboxing him, he's uh, he's pretty good. You know, I don't think there's any question about that. He's pretty good. But I think the other thing, you know, when they asked him at the press conference what the rules would be, you know, there's some there's some pretty major questions. Is like, what weight will the fight take place at? Mayweather responded, well, it doesn't really matter what weight. The, you know, we just want to give him a show. We want to, you know, do this and that. We just want it to be entertaining. Uh, yeah, and uh, Corey's in the chat. He just said that Floyd Mayweather posted a uh, pick with MMA gloves on now uh, on Twitter last night. Yeah, and, and he's right. Uh, he, he had the uh, four-ounce gloves on, the ri- and he's fighting for a Ryzen, uh, Ryzen MMA, right? Ryzen Fighting Federation. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But uh, some of the questions at the press conference were, you know, when, I guess, uh, what side, you know, will you box with MMA gloves? You know, is it going to be a boxing match? Is it going to be MMA? They said that the rules have not been ironed out yet. It will be a custom set of rules, which means whatever they're going to do will be very limited. Um, and that's pretty much all we know. We don't even know if he's going to be really boxed with uh, MMA gloves. You know, we don't even know if he's going to do uh, yeah, MMA do you, gloves. Do you think there's going to be kicking at all involved in this? Or how do, how do you think this is going to be? This got uh, this got to be boxing, no? I would think so. It's got to be boxing. I would think so. You know, I mean, what can they possibly do, though? I mean, you know, listen, here, here's the deal. And I was talking to my dad about this today. If they're allowed to kick, this fight's over. This fight ain't going yeah, to. Yeah, it's, it's crazy if they're allowed to kick. He's it's getting n- it's nuts. Yeah, they won't. It's, 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 that. it, that's insane. Yeah. So he's going to get mashed up. But can they alter the rules? Which it sounds like there will be some custom rules. So will the kid be allowed to kick at all? Will he be able to kick, say, no body kicks, no head kicks, but he can kick your legs? And if he kicks your legs, this fight's over in two rounds. My my guess is it's going to be a boxing match with MMA gloves. I mean, the guy, how? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. And the, what's the kid, what's the highest weight this kid's fought at? Like one, one what's he what? been? I mean, he's a, he's a, he fights around 121 pounds. They say 121 pounds. So he look he looks like he's about five six five 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 six, 121 pounds. Ah, uh, what? 
So he's gonna move up to 147. He's gonna he's gonna he's get, so Floyd's fighting a guy that's about 20 seven, pounds 20, 20 pounds yeah. lighter than him. How ridiculous is that? That's bananas. Yeah, 20, almost 30 pounds, if you think about it, because he comes in at 147. This kid fights about 120, almost 30 pounds. And he's the guy's old. I mean, and the guy is good. I mean, the guy is very good at what he does. But the guy's very unknown. And he, to us. And, and all yeah, to us. to us. Yeah. So I guess this is going to be in the Tokyo Dome, supposedly. No, this is uh, in Saitama. Let's see here. The fight will take place on December 31st in a 37,000 seat arena, in the Saitama Super Arena in Saitama, Japan. Okay. The bout will headline Ryzen 14, uh, the Ryzen, Ryzen FF, Ryzen Fighting Federation. And this is an MMA organization that was founded by former Pride president. Nobuyuki Sakibara. Um, so that's kind of what we know. I mean, it's, uh, you know, this will be contested under a custom rule set. The rules have not yet been determined. Now, this is all hearsay. Now, I was out uh, searching around today. This is all hearsay, but MMA Junkie states that they will be three, they think, that it'll be an exhibition of three three-minute rounds. And the rules, of course, are not yet known. Uh, Luke Thomas of the Luke Thomas Show asked a pretty good question. They said, who's paying Mayweather? Uh, who's paying Mayweather? Because it's not Ryzen. Not Ryzen Fighting Federation because they can't. So I don't know if he bought a piece of Ryzen. Who knows? Who knows? Um, Brendan Schaub actually had the line of the day when he tweeted, I hope everyone realizes that the fight will be about as legit as Macho Man versus the Ultimate Warrior in a WWE scripted match. Yeah, you know? that's that's some strong words right there. And and he brings up, yeah, he does. And I tell you what, this this brings up a real interesting point. Uh, back in the day, it was actually very common in Pride and other Japan-based organizations to predetermine the outcome of fights. This was actually very well known. Now I know Moro Ronaldo actually disputed this because he worked for Pride as an announcer. But I heard this, I mean, we, this is something we always hear. I mean, we've, we've heard this from, I've heard this from several different sources. Um, even uh, Kurt Angle, I, I had a chance to talk to Kurt Angle, the Olympian. Uh, he wrestles in the WWF or the WWE or whatever it is now. Um, he had said that he was going to go fight MMA because I'd asked him, why didn't he fight MMA? And he said that he was going to, but they were in Japan. But it was like, you know, they, they were actually, you know, all the, you know, some of the fights they couldn't they couldn't guarantee him that they would all get legitimate fights in the sense that you know they're fixed you know some of the outcomes are fixed and they'll fix them in such a way where they don't tell one guy that he's going to win or one guy you know what i mean it'll be fixed that way like both guys won't be in on it maybe one guy is in on it you know one guy is in on the gag or something like that so i got gotcha. you so yeah man uh it, pretty crazy pretty crazy i don't uh I don't know really what to make of it. It's, you know, if, if it is it truly like three three minute rounds, okay. What uh, what can you do with that? You know what I mean? Again, is it a full MMA thing or what? Well, I, I is it going to be an MMA fight with limited rules? Is it going right. to be a a boxing match with four ounce gloves. This is the thing. Ryzen I mean, is an MMA organization, you know. Yeah. And this is this is the thing. Um with with McGregor, I, I kind of got why that happened. I kind of got why that happened because McGregor McGregor was a was a huge name, gigantic draw. They knew they were going to do substantial amounts of, of pay-per-view buys. They knew that they were going to generate a lot of revenue. But this kid's an unknown. You know, it, Mayweather's going to have to go to Japan to fight this guy to make it worth his while. How much money is he going to get for this? He can't be getting as much as he got for Pacquiao and McGregor. There's no way they can generate that much 100%, revenue. No way. 100%. There's no way. Well, so, Ryzen, I think Luke Thomas said it best. Ryzen can't generate that money. No. So, so what is this about? Like, it, it, you know, Floyd Mayweather's out there buying eighteen million dollar watches. He's buying these um, 
I guess he bought a new a new mansion or whatever. And he's always posting his gambling winnings and this and that. So if he's posting all that stuff, like especially the gambling winnings, I suspect the guy's got a, a major gambling problem. Um, you would think that he could ride off into the sunset and enjoy all this money, work on some businesses, deal with his promotional company. But for whatever reason, something's not right. Something's not right. There's something that we're not being privy to right now. I, I think the guy's got money problems. I think the guy's got issues with he's constantly needs attention. You know, he can't stand to see someone else get the limelight instead of him. Which is why he's got the promoter. Yeah, and I think the guy's got a lot, a lot, a lot of issues. I think he's got tax problems still. I think I, I, this is just me guessing because why would he have to continuously fight, do do these types of events? I mean. Okay, I, I got the, Ma the the McGregor one, but this is this is a freaking circus, man. Like this this you know what this reminds me. This reminds me of Charlie Z. You know how Charlie Z you could see him on the, you'd see him on yeah. the on the YouTube videos going around and just picking picking random guys that that he knew didn't know how to fight. He'd walk yeah. around with two sets of boxing gloves. Didn't even wrap his hands. He'd go to the guy at the juice bar at the gym and say, "Hey, man, let's spar a little bit. We'll go light. You know, we'll go light. I'll just tap that." And then then. then Go around the corner, put the gloves on, and just stop wailing on the guy. Like this, this reminds me of like what Mayweather's doing. He's calling out these guys that have zero chance of beating him. At least with the McGregor thing, like those MMA fans, they actually thought McGregor had a shot to win. You know, like McGregor had a following. He had a cult that supported yeah. him. You know what I mean? This guy, like no one knows who he is. They can't put this thing on pay per view. No one's gonna buy this thing if it's on pay per view. So, like, what, you know what, what is, be, yeah, yeah, what is the sense to this thing? Is this just a, uh, Mayweather, even if this for, for, for 50 million, you know, is this just, uh, Mayweather needing money and doing anything he can to get money? Is this Mayweather just who's, who can't not have attention? Is this this the, the narcissistic personality disorder of Mayweather, like, that he just cannot, um, step away? He needs the attention that bad that he'll do anything to get it. This is that, this is a exactly this, is. this is a full fledged circus. This is a full fledged circus. It's ridiculous, and um, I, I I can't even try to justify this. At least with the with the McGregor thing, you knew that was going to do good business. That made sense business wise. This doesn't make sense on any level. I can't try to figure this one out in any level. The only thing I can come to is Mayweather needs money, and he's so starved so starving for attention he's got issues he's got a lot of issues this guy yeah robert go ahead i'm sorry robert go ahead brother uh, that, no no that's a guy uh, that, and i don't know how long i'll be able to be here guys we got things going on but sure um that's ex that's exactly what this is um when i read about this this morning i'm like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I read all the details uh, and I'm like, wow, uh, B, you are you you've got him figured out down pat. And I'm not even a psychiatrist, Robbie, and I can get. Uh, but if I was a psychiatrist for him, just talk to him for about an hour, man. I could make tons of money talking to him. It's not hard <laughs> to figure this guy out. Because uh, I, I hate to say this, uh, for a guy that is talented in the sport of boxing, he's a degenerate. He desperately needs attention. He's like a diva that constantly needs, you know. He's like, uh, he's like some of these celebrities you see, constantly got to get their themselves in the tabloids. Um, th this is a, a money ripoff, and I can't believe that CBS and Showtime would actually go along with something like this. Well, we don't know if they are, Robbie. I don't think they are. I, I think this is uh, yeah, all. I don't think. I don't think so. I think this is all the ja like like Stephen Espinosa hasn't said anything. I think this is all the Japanese. Uh, I don't know promotion or I don't know. Yeah. Eric said Ryzen's not paying Mayweather, but I'm sure they're going to have, uh, you know, a, a hand in promoting this thing and and and, and broadcasting this thing. I, I'm just I'm guessing possibly some some Japanese investors are just going to pay Mayweather. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. I don't know that. I'm just I'm just speculating. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, look, if you look at his boxing career, he never wanted to travel anywhere to fight anybody. And now that he's desperate for money, he's willing to go to Japan. 
Oh, he'll 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 travel for a twenty year old, one hundred twenty pound, <laughs> five foot five guy that that hasn't boxed around in his life. He'll put the MMA gloves on him and say, "Hey, we're not going to kick," and he'll kick the shit out of this poor kid. Um, I'm a small guy. I mean, uh, come on. I, I've never I've never fought around in my life. Uh, can I get paid a few million? I, you know, jeez. Robbie, I would pay. $150 to see you scrapping a pay-per-view, brother. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. Yeah. I would love to put you and Jason in a cage. Oh, I'd, I'd, play, I'd pay 200 for that. Larry Merchant said a few years ago, uh, Joe, the famous line, if I was 50 years younger, I'd kick your ass. <laughs> you know? You know. Uh, look, I can't... I, Look, I can't believe we're actually doing a train wreck show. Instead of a train wreck of a week, we're doing a train wreck show. That's what this is. That's what it is. One hundred percent. You know, uh, this this tops anything that Adrian Broner has ever done. You know, uh, and I, look, guys. I, I, I'm completely biased here. I'm not a UFC fan. I'm not an MMA fan. I, I'm strictly boxing. But this is a complete joke. And anybody that buys this has lost their damn mind. What is it I'm reading? I'm reading, uh, when is UFC 232? Because I think that it's actually going up against that. I think there are different times. I think that's the 29th or maybe uh, the 30th. Well, I know, two, I know 231, I think, is December 8th, right? Uh, maybe, maybe. Let me look it up real quick. Let me look up their schedule. And when is the thirty first, Robert? Is that a, a what? What is that? Uh, uh, hang on. I think that's that a Monday. A Sunday. I think that's. I think that's the last Sunday of the football season. December thirty first is a Monday. Um, it's a Monday. Okay. It is a Monday, so that would make sense here. Let's see. That the 29th Saturday that UFC. So I believe. And let me see if I can get the uh, schedule up here. Because I think if that's going to compete, I mean, you know, you got to look at like, uh, you know, who is going to, you know, because that those pay-per-views were within, within days of each other. Because I can't imagine this is going to be a free event. Uh, no. You know. And how many drunk people in the U.S., uh, you know, New Year's Eve are going to buy this thing? Think about that. <sighs> Yeah. People are going to be having people are going to be, have parties and whatnot. And they're going to be drinking, and all of a sudden they're going to be going through their guide. And, hey, Floyd Mayweather is fighting. Well, not to mention it's on a Monday. Buying it that way. Not to you mention know? it's on a Monday. You know, that's yeah. the other thing too. It's a Monday, uh, and maybe it's yeah. It's I don't know. All right, so UFC two thirty two takes place December 29th. Uh and I don't know if it's in Las Vegas or not, but it's uh, John Jones right. versus Alexander Gustafson too, which is a monster fight. Yeah, I'm buying that card. That. Okay. that card is stacked. I'm by the way, that. Chris Cyborg and Amanda Nunez are the co-main on there. Oh, that's a great uh, Carlos Condit, Michael Chiesa is on that card. Arlovsky and Harris. Uh, you know, BJ Penn is back on that card. Uh, Uriah Hall. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean these are and these are all big. I mean this is a huge. This, this card is stacked. Um, right. So uh, yeah, man. I I mean, and I'm definitely watching that card. I mean, it's John Jones. I mean, you're definitely going to watch that card. But I mean, you know, I'm not going to pay for a UFC card and then go and pay for this Ryzen card. No, no, Hell no not. way. I, I and you know what they'll probably do too. They'll, they'll probably have like okay you like um go to some site and buy the thing and you could watch it like on like a stream or something like that like almost like a an app type thing like you know like um you know how many yes you go to ESPN three and you could watch like a, a did have a fight on there before the app came out yeah you know? yeah that's what they'll probably do with this right like you can watch the undercard there but you got to pay for Mayweather or something like that yeah. or, I don't know yeah. This is a tough one. You know, you know, the worst part about all this is he would, you know, they were talking about him and Khabib fighting him and uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov uh, fighting. Yeah. All right. And and we all, you know, everybody, you know, everybody get heard of that and everything. If he would have fought Khabib under MMA rules and just went to the UFC or fought Connor, 
just even take it and fight Connor under MMA rules in the octagon, in the UFC, that would be the biggest sporting event in history as far as pay-per-view went. Dwarfs anything. I mean, I think, I really do. If he went and, and competed under a full rule set, full MMA, I think it dwarfs anything. I mean, he, he I, I think it smashes all the pay-per-view records, everything. He goes to Ryzen <laughs> and fights somebody that absolutely nobody has heard of. You know, and maybe in Japan, he's a big star. And in the kickboxing world, this guy's a big star. But nobody knows this guy. I mean, this is a complete, like, what you just, and when they asked him at the press conference what the rules are, well, it's a custom set. Well, look, it's November 5th. The fight takes place on December 31st. That's not a lot of time. How is this kid going to train for this? How is any, I mean, how is he going to train for this? How's either man going to train for this properly right. if they don't even know what the rules right. are ahead of time? That, that's how you know this is a joke. Yeah. You know? And how are you going to sell something that people don't know what they're going to buy? Like, 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 he just thinks that because he puts his name on something, like, he, like, oh, Floyd Mayweather playing ping pong, people are going to buy it. Like, it, 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 you know, you, you're a boxer, dude. You're a boxer. You know, and that's a good point. You said, like, uh, you know, it's like, how, are, how, how is anybody going to buy this when they don't know what they're going to buy? Exactly. How can anyone get interested in it? Right. Nobody knows who this guy is in America. No one knows who this guy is in probably the, the whole world except for Japan, really, with all due respect to him. Why? And how, in the, and how in the world would you get the cable and satellite companies even interested in Who's going to – and they're talking in the chat already how much pay-per-views is this going to buy? How could it even be on pay-per-view? Think about it. If it's in Japan, it's going to be in Japan time zone. You, you think you think people are going to stay up in the uh, to three in the morning, two in the morning to watch this thing? You think people are going to buy a pay per view that's on at two in the morning? It's a freaking joke, this thing. What I'm time is it in Japan right now? Let's look up at Japan time. All right, let's look up Tokyo. Yeah. It is 9.22 a.m. 9.22 a.m. right now, and it's 7 o'clock. It's Tuesday over there. Okay. So so they're 14 hours ahead. So they're 14 hours ahead. So if they put that on, what time are they going to put it on in Japan so so America can watch it? Well, what do they do with Tyson's fight with Buster Douglas? They put it on, I guess they could put it on. 10 o'clock. They put it on 10 o'clock. If they put it on, like, yeah, they can. They can make that work because they can put it on around 10 o'clock at night, nine o'clock at night. And because I think, you know, they can watch. I mean, they'll they'll have no problems with Six the fight in the, in the morning. Afternoon. So it'll be like a two in the afternoon over there, I guess. Yes. Yes. Something I like got that. I got you. I got you. You know, and, and uh, hand rap says uh, who's who's broadcasting. I, I we have no idea. Couldn't even begin. We have to no tell idea. You. Yeah. I don't I think do. Showtime is going to pick this up. They don't have the budget for this. No, I, I could I couldn't see Stephen Espinosa approving this. No way. Yeah, I mean, he said because, well, Showtime will replay. I don't. I don't know. I because don't even know. though it's pay per view, you're still gonna have to put up. He's just still gonna have to generate some 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 money for the guarantee for Mayweather. And I, I don't think gonna Showtime, get and I don't think Showtime is involved in this at all. I don't think they want to be involved in this. This is a fucking farce. <laughs> well, because farce, you know dude. Espinosa has not mentioned it on his timeline at all. He hasn't mentioned anything about it. So this is strictly a Floyd endeavor, and. What I'm wondering is, did he buy a piece of Ryzen? But I think if he did, that would have been in the in the presser. Yeah, but he he with all. I mean, I'm not trying to dump on the guy, but maybe, maybe I am a little bit. But he can't even run his own promotional company. Why is he going to invest in someone else's promotional company? Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean, yeah. I, I guess the big the, the 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 big the best thing he's got going for him right now is you know probably that strip club. You know, it's a very nice strip club, by the way. Girl collection. I heard that. Oh, yeah, it's great. Robert, you've been there, right? Yeah. Uh, no. But what else has he really done since he's retired? Like, you know who he had... for in all this? Tank Davis and Bobby Jack? Yeah. Anybody who's got a contract with Mayweather. I mean, you talk about a guy that totally ignored his fighters. Why would a fighter even bother to sign with it? And if you're Bobby Jack and Davis, and I forget who else is over there, 
you don't you think you got to do anything you can to get out of your promotional contracts? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I really do. I mean, at this point, yeah, I think you do. I mean, if you're if you're one of those guys, I mean, I think you got to kind of put that put everything aside and everything and say, look, what's best for you, because he's not doing it. You know what I mean? He's doing what's I mean, best I mean, for him. I mean, hell, Badu Jack just fought for the light heavyweight title, and you know, he 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 needs to schedule a rematch, and his promoters over in Japan. Uh, creating a circus, he should be working on getting a rematch together for his his light heavyweight uh, champion, who should you know, and he should be working on uh, Davis's career. And I forget who else. Is there anybody any good else uh, that I can't think of that got no. Mayweather promotion? I don't contract? believe so. No. Uh, yeah, no, I don't believe so. I think Andrew Tabidi is. Uh, he's not under Floyd, so no. Oh, he's not on the Floyd, Andrew Tabidi. I don't. I, don't I thought he was. Maybe he is. I don't know. I, I don't didn't. Know. I thought he. I didn't think he was though. I thought he was, but who knows? Yeah. You yeah. know, I. I mean, if I if I'm one of his fighters, I'd be. Uh, look, I got to get out of my contract. Yeah. I got to pull an Andre Ward and get the hell out of my contract. Yeah. yeah apparently, uh, yeah. Uh, Jason's in the chat saying that uh, Tabidi is under Floyd. So. Yeah, I thought he was. I mean. Uh, even he's not like a big star either, but well, at least he's in the tournament, though. That's not bad. Yeah, no, he's in the. He tournament. should win the. He should win the tournament. You think so? Yeah, yeah. Uh, because of the lineup. The lineup's not as strong as the uh, the first one was. Yeah. Well, I I don't even know why they're having that. Uh, the second place yeah, cruiserweight I mean, tournament. Yeah, I don't get it either. But I don't either. I don't know. It's like it's like it's like the uh, division two tournament. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, well, Jason wants to chime in here. PPBC, PBBC, fluff, 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 Floyd, fluff, 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 Floyd. Mayweather's a fucking mental case. Hey, Robbie, uh, did you forget that uh, uh, Stevenson has a rematch scheduled on December before the Wilder fight with Gorzik, how the fuck are they going to work on a rematch when he's got a fucking mandatory coming up in December? Uh, I didn't realize that, Jason, but my point, my you point know, You is... don't realize a lot of things. When it, when it comes to back to Mayweather, <laughs> hey man, you guys just fucking forget no, all my, the facts. Jason, my, Jason, my point is... Jason, the guy weighs 122 pounds. Yeah. He's five foot five. He's I mean, older. come on now. You... You don't, you you don't, you're not, you're not co-signing on this, are you? He's whole, you, even you can't, he's even on. you can't co-sign on this. Please tell me. I thought I, I thought I've been, you know, rubbing off on you a little bit and, you know, teaching you about life and stuff. Now I thought I, I thought I've had a positive influence on you since you've been calling in. Don't tell me all this, all this effort that I've put forth to make you a man has gone to, gone to nothing. That's I failed you. I feel like Obi Wan, Anakin. <laughs> You are my brother. I failed you, Anakin. I failed you. Well, I could, I could be in that movie, man. That was, that was good. A good actor. That was fucking awesome. I failed you, Anakin. So, Jason, let me ask you, what do you think of the fight? I don't. I'm not gonna watch it. I don't think it's a good fight. I'm not gonna watch it. I didn't watch the Manny vs. Lucas fight. I'm not gonna watch this trash. Why is Reed Beef over there crying and having a seizure over this? I don't get it. What the fuck? It's what news. Mayweather, We're reporting the news. It's what we do. Mayweather hasn't even Mayweather hasn't even asked any American to pay for this fight. Why do you think? Complaining? Do you think it'll be on pay per view? No, of course it's not going to be on pay per view, dude. Come on, who who would put this on pay per view? Really? You don't think it's going to be on pay per view? You think he's going to fight without pay per view? Be anywhere besides maybe YouTube Showtime page. That's it. You, or a Showtime regular free TV. That's it. Maybe. Nah, I think you know, this is going to be, this has got to be pay-per-view. Of course they will. They have a lot of dates. Uh, next year, they're expanding their boxing schedule. They already said that. So if they want to do it, if not, maybe the zone, the yeah, retard that run the zone can pay for $20 million for one fight. Because those idiots will pay anybody. So oh, maybe he can do that. <laughs> Now, why do you have to call the people over, the good people over at the zone retards? What have they ever done to you? All they've done is put on great events for us here in America. And you want to call them retards. Anakin, I failed you. Delorme versus 
Vargas? Oh my God, I can't. I'm that was a, that was a great fight. It ended in a draw, hotly so contested think, matchup. Do you think this is going to be an MMA fight? What what kind of custom rules do you think is going to be with this, Jason? Come on, bro. Come on. This is going to be this is just a boxing match, and the kid, the guy, fucking sucked. That's all highlights of him. He can't even hit. So it's a 125 pounder with smaller gloves. Floyd's going to fucking rock the shit out of this kid. Like he's going to fuck him up. There's, there's not going to be any kicks allowed. They're going to be wearing shoes with smaller gloves, and that's going to well, fucking help Floyd. Why you the seriously, hell would, why you don't, the hell would Mayweather agree to something like this? It's obvious right? because they're fucking the Japanese probably paid him five, ten million dollars cash to come help their brand, um, brand like visibility. Of course, why else would he do it? He's making a quick five, ten million dollars. What's wrong with that? I don't fucking get the. You think he's only making five or ten million dollars to do yeah, this, and right? he's traveling to Japan and and he's fighting in front of thirty-seven thousand people, and he's only going to make five or ten million dollars? This is probably a fifty million dollar fight for him. Right. You're fucking, you're fucking crazy, dude. Japanese boxing is cheap as hell. The tickets are like fucking fifty dollars a pop. Like, oh, really? You've been to them, huh? You've been over to Japan and you've witnessed many of these fights. You don't even leave your fucking projects in Boston and go to the fucking. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. You don't even have. You don't even have a freaking apartment, kid. You live in a rooming house, from what I heard. <laughs> I mean, please, son. You, I, I could buy like a, you're sitting there watching watching events on YouTube because you can't afford to buy pay per views. You poor son of a bitch. That's why he hates the zone. He can't afford it. Can't even afford the zone. Hey, uh -huh. you know what? I'll pay the zone for you. I'll pay the zone for you. I'll give you my I'll give you my email and my login. You can use my zone. How's that? Want to do that? No, nah, no thanks. No, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I don't want my I don't want my fucking laptop infected with Russian malware. No thanks. Russian <laughs> malware. Russian. Russian malware. That's defamation, kid. That's defamation right there. We we may have the Russians messing with our election tomorrow. So. Also, I, uh, B, remember that the zone sex page we used to talk about. A couple of people on there said even after they canceled the zone, their credit cards kept getting charged. So I'm kind of skeptical. I want to see proof of that. I have not heard any of that. You know, Gabe Gabe Montoya brought up an interesting point. He said, uh, you know, Floyd is still fighting at 41, but is he does he bother doing the all year testing? The testing. Of course year? he doesn't. He's he's on. No, if anyone know, doesn't believe that Floyd that. Mayweather is on know. TR, I mean, whether he does or not, I don't know. Do all year testing. Canelo doesn't do all your testing. Why the fuck would Floyd do it? That's, I'm just asking a question. Just yeah, asking. Yeah, why are you getting so bad? He, he gets so like defensive. He gets so angry. Doesn't he get angry? He does get so he's angry. So defensive. I bet you right now he's clutching his, his Mayweather po po like poster right in his hand. Like, oh, Floyd. Floyd, don't worry, Floyd. I'll, I'll defend you. I won't let them talk about you like that, Floyd. Oh, that's a good movie. What, yeah, what's that? It just, it just popped up on my... Hey, uh, did you guys read this new article on CNBC that said ESPN Plus will probably lose 200 to 400 million dollars in the first year? Um, just uh, very good. I, I hope it does. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of that app. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. I. I. I, I won't buy it. I won't buy it for the for the type of fights they put on there and, and the and the amount of fights they put on there. I'm not going to buy that. Nope. What? That's the only app I would buy if I if I wanted it. Oh really? That was a great fight that was on this this past you weekend. Watch video on this kid at all, Jason? You said he can't punch. What are you crazy? Yeah, I saw him, uh, fight. Dude, he 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 can't he can't even knock out one twenty five pounders with punches. He he's twenty seven and twenty knockouts. Yeah, but those guys are bums, bro. I mean, <laughs> oh, you did the research on them, right? You did the research on him. Kickboxing. No, no, now you're a, Jap good, a Japanese combat sports enthusiast. All of a sudden, you're a, you're a Japanese combat sports enthusiast. All of a sudden, how many how many times you seen this kid fight? Hey, beep, beep. This kid would make Berto look like a power puncher. That's how fucking soft he is. <laughs> Do you think Floyd is stupid? Why is he fighting? So is he Pauli Malinaji? Who, who's the hotter puncher, him or Pauli Malinaji? Even worse. Even worse. Even worse. Even worse. Okay. Even worse. Yeah, and I don't care. I'm not going to watch this trash. I don't give a fuck. This is just a fucking, uh, you know, quick payday for Floyd so he can pay for his fucking private. So he can pay all the, all the, uh, all so his gambling pay the IRS is what it Pay the IRS, pay his, pay cents pays, cents him, yeah. pay his employees, pay, pay the contractors that he hasn't paid yet. 50 Cent said that uh, the champ is fighting an Uber, Uber driver before the IRS embarrasses him again. <laughs> I think uh, didn't didn't Fifty Cent just go bankrupt like two years ago? That's how IRS embarrasses you. Not by didn't you just send me a link saying he's a baller now because he's he signed a big contract? Who said that? You, 
You sent me a link or something about 50 Cent? Stop lying, dude. Stop yes, lying. you did, son. Come so on. So 50 Sorry. Cent, do you, you, you realize why people file bankruptcy? Like Donald Trump filed bank, bankruptcy several times and he's a billionaire. Like it's a business move, really, because all it does is 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 it gets you out of a bad situation. If you don't wanna if you wanna if you don't wanna be involved in a bad deal, you just file bankruptcy, you file ch chapter 13, and you don't have to pay the full debt. There's two types of bankruptcy, you know that, right? Chapter 11 and chapter 13, absolutely. There's more than two types of bankruptcy. Yeah, okay. Cha chapter 13. Yeah, there's more than two types of bankruptcy. Guys. Chapter 13 is what businesses have filed because they have to pay back part of their debt. They don't, they, they don't get absolved 100% of it. I know I know all that stuff, brother. Yeah, 50, 50 Cent is still paying off the credit. No, no, he's not. He gets the allowance. He gets the allowance from the court every month. How much he can spend, the judge tells him how much he can spend and how much he has to pay his creditors. So he's like, oh, How do you know that, Jason? How do you know that? Hand, that reps, hand reps just said, Hand reps just said, Jason knows all about being bankrupt. News, you moron. What do you mean? How do you know that, Jason? Fake news. That's fake news, Jason. That's fake news. <laughs> That's fake news. What's fake news? What's fake news, babe? What's fake news? Jason. I've been to bankruptcy court. I've had family members that filed, and I went with them, and I and I know exactly how it works. Okay, Chapter Eleven. When you when you, you know what Chapter Eleven is? Chapter Eleven is like people that get into credit card debt and they go like fifty grand in debt. And back in the day, right, you'd walk in there and the judge would ask ask you, do you, do you own a house? No. Do you own a car? No. Do you own a business? No. So then they boom. That's it. Then you get dismissed. You have to pay anything. Chapter Eleven. Chapter 13 is different. It's businesses. Whatever you owe, they tell you this is a, this is the amount. This is the settled amount that you're going to have to pay back. And that's it. Oh, my God. You're so full of shit. It fucking stinks. Yeah, you're okay. 50 cent on an allowance by the court. How, how can you be on an allowance by, like, like, they can't tell you how to spend your money. It's not like, it's so, not like, it's not like friggin' um, child support, goofball. It's not like child support. They don't garnish your earnings. They don't garnish your earnings when you go to bankruptcy court, you goofball. It's not the allowance by the bankruptcy court. Google it. Jesus. It's not an allowance, you goofball. You know, you're like a fucking, you're like a, you're like a, you're like a food inspector, and you're about to trying to school me about bankruptcy court. Get the hell out of here! Come on, man. I do that, <laughs> dude. I took business law in college. What did you take in college? Oh, you didn't go. I forgot. Swimming pool maintenance. <laughs> what did you take? Basket weaving. Who was your major? <laughs> What did what you your major? Freaking arts and uh, finger painting? Finger painting. Yeah, I took an elective ceramics. I'm like, I'm like... <laughs> Standing in front of that fake plane, that that rented fake plane on your Facebook page. It's like a freaking green screen. He green screened the plane and he stood in front of it. <laughs> what a loser. Wow. Jason, oh, my God, you poor bastard. He owns Beavis, a jet. Beavis so bitter. Beeb is so bitter. When he sees more successful people, he goes, "You don't know where you can have that." Why Eric is more successful than me? So I don't. I don't. I'm not bitter towards him. I'll be bitter. <laughs> oh my I'm God. not bitter towards Eric. <laughs> but Eric's got over there. He's got, he's got a mansion over there. I'm not. He he's got got it so well that he has a studio in his basement. The <laughs> Beeb doesn't have a studio in his basement. No, he doesn't. He don't have anything. Beeb. The Beeb. The Beeb can set. The Beeb's all liquid. The beep is all the liquid. All liquid. <laughs> the beep is liquid. The beep doesn't has not. The beep is is liquid. You've seen the beep's assets. I flossed. I flossed my my lick my liquid assets on you a couple times. You've seen it. The beep is liquid. So Jason, you're not going to watch this fight at all. Are you going to watch it? I'm not going to watch this. I, I'm going to watch UFC 232. Like yeah. Isn't Tokyo like 12 hours ahead of us? Yeah, well, they're 14 hours ahead, but... Uh, on New Year's, you're going to be watching this shit? Hell no. Yeah, I mean, I'm imagining it's going to be like a 10 o'clock show or whatever, something like that, but it'll be it'll take place over there. I would imagine... Uh, it, I, well, so it would be the 30th here. It'll be on a Sunday here, and I would imagine they could show it about maybe 9 p.m. here. So, yeah, I mean, nah. 50 cent discharge from bankruptcy after paying off $22 million debt. Where does this say allowance? 50 cent discharge from paying bankruptcy after paying off $22 million of debt. Where, where, where's the allowance, goofball? This is what Chapter 13 is. You pay off a portion of the debt, and you're absolved of the other part of the debt. Okay? Where's the allowance? Where's the allowance? After you pay it.
Where's the allowance? $22 million. 50 cent discharge from bankruptcy after paying off $22 million of debt. Just like the Beeb said, you pay a portion of it, you pay a portion of your debt, and then they wash away the rest when you file chapter 13. And when you file chapter 11, they, they changed the laws back in 2003. In, in, in 2011, in, in, in uh, 2003, when you file chapter 11, now, now even in chapter 11, you have to pay off a portion of the debt. Before, when you filed chapter 11, you didn't have to pay off anything. Babe, I mean, nobody cares about this shit, bro. Nobody cares about of this course shit. you don't care about it after you brought it up and now you were proven wrong. Now you want to change the subject. That's fine. I just up <laughs> Back to boxing. Back to boxing. You lost this one. <laughs> He's on an allowance. A grown man is on an allowance. Business Insider. Jesus. <laughs> it's on Business Insider. You can pull it up right now. Yeah, Business Insider. All right, yeah. Jason, Jason, so you're not interested in the fight at all? Jason, Jason. gives it a thumbs down, which is surprising because, hey. Jason, is this a bad move for Floyd? Is this, is, this, is, this an, is this an embarrassing move for Floyd to stoop to this level to be involved in a match like this? Yes or no? I think uh, I think Fifty Cent filing for bankruptcy is really embarrassing. That's what's embarrassing. Why are we still talking you know about I mean? Fifty Cent? This, this is, Why are we still talking about Fifty Cent? Are you mad at Fifty Cent because Floyd's in a beef with him? Yes. yes is that what it is? I think so. Is that what it is? Are you are you are you are you piling on Fifty Cent because because your idol your idol is in a beef with him because your idol your idol was embarrassed by Fifty Cent? Hey, you need to mute Beep. He's on some crazy drugs or something. He won't shut up. <laughs> Is that what it is, Jason? What? What? Do you want me to answer? Or you want to just keep running your mouth? Do you want me to answer or no? I kind of like running my mouth, but you can answer. <laughs> I always liked running my mouth as a kid. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I told you I got stuff going on in the background. Uh, hey, uh, Robbie, you have a great night. It's a uh, hey, beef. Listen, listen, listen. It's not a beef. It's just that when when the fifty cents he's Floyd Mayweather making three hundred million dollars cash in one night. I mean that fucking breaks his heart. He can't but how much is how much money? Fifty cent. How much? How much money is Floyd Mayweather blowing though? Like how much does he have left of all the money he's earned? You you must know. You know all the details. Well, I will tell you this: when someone's posting their winnings and they're not posting their lose their losses, so right. if someone's winning, if someone's winning like five hundred thousand here, two hundred thousand here. Every week, posting posting those types of winnings, and they're not posting their losing their, their losses. He has to be losing. He has to be losing tens of millions of dollars gambling. There's no question about it. I don't. I can't prove it factually. But again, no one's going to post their losses. So if you're if you're winning that much, you got to be losing at least that the same amount. You got to be losing at least fifty percent of your bets if you're if you're winning that much. So think about the bets he's losing. How much? How much money? Bet and think about all the all the stuff he buys. It's like a gambler that goes on tilt, right? A gambler starts losing, right? So what's he do? He just starts saying fuck it, and then he just starts betting everything. He starts betting everything he has. Floyd, May, Floyd Mayweather's on tilt right now when it comes to spending. He can't stop spending. The guy's sick. The guy cannot stop buying things. The guy cannot stop buying things. And if you continue, you, you know, you continue, why are you acting like Floyd's baby mama? Why are you acting like Floyd's baby mama like you have babies with him? Why you're act, you're acting like Floyd's freaking daddy right now. How you defending him? You you're him. the one that's got your lips surgically attached to the guy's ass, not me. <laughs> not me. I'm telling the truth. All right, boys. Boys, I'm going to jump in here. Go ahead, Derek. Jason. <laughs> Thank you hey, for let calling. Me finish, let me finish. What? He never lets you finish, man. I've never even got to make one point. He All right, make it quickly. Like Very quickly. Retard. Very quickly. God, now I, now I forgot what I was quickly. Say, of course, you forgot what you had to say because it's not important. <laughs> I heard Eddie Hearn is about to sign Glenn Tapia. Did you guys hear about that? Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I read. I don't know. Who cares? Listen, I don't buy the. I didn't buy the zone because of Eddie Hearn. I bought the zone because of Canelo and those and the super and the super world, world boxing, series, super, super series. world boxing series, baby. Oh I, in what, Bellator. I, bought it, I bought it for the uh, world boxing super series. I really did. I bought it for the world boxing super series. And I bought it for friggin' Canelo, and I'm and tri and Triple G is gonna be over there too. And yeah. you know what's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen? Maybe the DAZN will ice Eddie Hearn, and they'll keep all these other fighters because Eddie Hearn really hasn't been delivering. That'd be great. That'd no, be great. no, he no. hasn't been delivering. I'm sorry, he hasn't been delivering. What's the what's the what's the point of Canelo versus Rocky Fielding? 
that fight is just as bad as Floyd's fight next fight. That fight is trash. No, it's not. Oh, it's, it's not, not as bad, bad as that. It's no, not it's as bad not, as that. Not at all. It's not as bad as that. Did you did you miss the Callum Smith fight? That guy didn't even last one round. Well, how are we supposed to think he's a good fight? He didn't even last one round, dude. Yeah, but they're talking about Triple G maybe fighting Callum Smith. Yeah. I heard that's that. Crazy. What, what about crazy. wouldn't you be excited for that on the zone? I'll yeah. give you the law. I'll give you my login. I want you to watch that. I'll give you my login. <laughs> I will. I'll give you my login. YouTube. Just don't fuck with my. Just don't try to like uh you know fuck with my credit card information when when you log in there. <laughs> hey, all right. Let me, let me make my last point. That I'm out of here. Hurry up. Let me make my last point. All right, all right hurry up. up. There's this Twitter Go. account called Boxing underscore ESQ. There's a bunch of you guys need to check out his website too. He's got a lot of good podcasts. He did one with Lou DeBella today. He was talking about all the boxing business and Kathy Do also. Check it out. Boxing underscore ESQ is the page. Follow him. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. <laughs> when, when he like shouts out somebody else's Twitter because he can't get on Twitter. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. So I think we can go ahead and wrap this up, Beeb. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a crazy, crazy uh, fight, man. Yeah, I, I can't even I can't even co-sign this. Do you think though? Let me ask you just real quick. If uh, what what do you suspect? You think it's just going to be boxing with four ounce gloves? I think it's boxing with MMA gloves on. I think that's what I I have a hunch. I have a hunch that's what it's going to be. And this hundred twenty two pound guy is going to probably put on about maybe he'll he'll, he'll maybe he'll, ten he'll, pounds, fifteen probably pounds. fifteen pounds. He'll be about maybe one forty ish. And um, Floyd will be about one. Four, it may even be a catch weight. Who knows? A, like one forty four or something. Floyd won't, won't honor yeah. won't honor the catch weight like he did against Marquez. He, yeah, he, and he'll come in overweight, so it won't. Coming overweight, yeah. This this thing is going to be a farce. Do you think that if the guy's allowed to kick, like legit kick, maybe just the legs, not the body, not the head, but just kick his legs, that this fight goes the other way? Yes. Yeah, I don't Me think too. Floyd can. I don't think Floyd can deal with with the with the leg kicks. No, no. Even if he learns how to check those kicks, you're not going to check him from that guy. And I, I hope. Different. And I hope Floyd different. doesn't think that just because this guy's small that you no know, he can make this kind of like a, add some some rules to this where the kid can do some stuff. If he, does, he, he if he's not, I hope he's not saying himself. This guy's only 120 something pounds. He's small. He's only 20. Kid's only 20 years old too. You know. Right. Right. They say he's a prodigy and he is uh, regardless he's a of what kid. Says, he's a kid. you know, watching those videos and stuff like that. And I've seen uh, just a couple of his fights. I've watched a couple of his fights without the highlight videos. That guy is good. There's, yeah. there's no question about it. he knows how to kickbox. Yeah. So if he's just going to if if he if he's going to say, well, you know, this kid's small, you know, he's young. Yeah, I'll let him kick. Uh, that's a bad move. That's a bad, bad move. And because yeah. I hope he's not getting a little overconfident because of how young and small the kid is. Just one of those leg kicks, just one of those leg kicks stops your movement. Yeah. Will stop his movement on a dime. And here's another thing too, Eric. You know, knock on wood, but I'm not wishing this on anybody. But Floyd Mayweather's an older guy. He's 41, yeah. 40. He's gonna be. He's 41 years old, right? What if one day he just gets in the ring? What if he throws a right hand, and the same thing happens to him that happens, uh, you know, in the in the, in the Donair fight? You know, what if what if what if what if, like 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 with Burnett? What if he throws a right hand and he and he, and he slips a disc, you know, because because he's old. What yeah. if he, what, what if he what if he tears a shoulder or something during a fight, and he can't continue? That's a freaking win for the other guy. You know, anything can happen when you're older. Like like your body's not the same. You know, your body doesn't hold up the same. And so, I don't think I don't think wrestling or holds will be allowed. No, I definitely don't think that like any submission holds will be allowed. No. I think it'll be that's that's what I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be uh, boxing with four ounce gloves, and really at the end of the day, who cares? It's it's you not know, a, joke. As long as that's, that's a joke. Under, under those rules, Floyd's going to win, and that's a joke. Yeah, because that kid's not used to boxing; he's used to kickboxing, completely different sport. And that's what they're trying to do with the Mayweather. They're trying to have a McGregor rematch and do something similar to that with McGregor, but yeah, that's a joke. They weren't going for it. They weren't that's going for it. All right. Well, uh, make sure to listen to us on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we'll have more. Hopefully more more comes out about this whole thing. And then we'll talk yeah. about it then. But uh, until then, I hope you enjoyed the uh, Monday show. And we will see you on Sunday. All right. Take care, everybody.